Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you a story. And believe it or not, I have another little critter book for you. I just keep finding them and I know how much you like them, so I keep getting them. And this one, hmm, may be a little familiar to you because something happens to little critter that happens to me and I'm sure happens to you. This book is called, I Just Forgot. I just forgot. This is a story about the things the little critter is supposed to do and he keeps forgetting to do. <gasps> I have that problem sometimes. I wonder what little critter forgets to do. We're going to have to open this book and get inside and find out what happens and what little critter keeps forgetting. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. I just forgot by Mercer Mayer. Sometimes I remember, and sometimes I just forget. This morning I remembered to brush my teeth, but I forgot to make my bed. I put my dishes in the sink after breakfast, but I forgot to put the milk away. Uh-oh, that's not good. Don't put the milk away, it'll go bad. I almost forgot to feed the puppy, but he reminded me. Grrr, puppy's showing him, you need to feed me. I didn't forget to water the plants. They looked fine to me. I didn't forget to feed the goldfish. He just didn't look hungry. I'll do it now, Mom. I think he did forget. I got ready for school. I even got to the school bus on time. But I forgot my lunch box. Oh, poor mom. Mom brought it to school for me. Thanks, mom. After school, I went outside to play in the rain. I remembered to put on my rain slicker, but I forgot my rubber boots. When I came inside for a snack, I didn't forget to take my boots off. I left them on because I was going right back outside. Oh no, he's tracking mud and water all through the house because he didn't remember to take his boots off. I had cookies and milk. I was just going to eat three cookies, but I forgot to count them. <gasps> he ate all the cookies. I didn't forget to shut the refrigerator door though. I just wasn't finished eating yet. When Dad came home from work, I was supposed to get his paper. I didn't forget. The puppy got it first. Oh no, the puppy ripped up Dad's paper because Little Critter forgot to get it before the puppy did. I know it's time for bed. I didn't forget. Of course I'll remember to pick up my toys when I'm finished playing with them. Poor Mom has to remind him of everything. I took my bath and remembered to wash by my ears. I didn't use soap, but I didn't forget to. I just don't like soap. Uh-oh, I guess I did forget to pick up my toys. Did I forget to turn off the tub too? Oh no, the water's overflowing everywhere. But there is one thing I never forget. I always remember to have mom read me a bedtime story and I always remember to kiss her good Wow! Little Critter forgot a lot of important stuff. He forgot to make his bed. He forgot to feed the dog. He forgot to turn off the water in the bathtub. That's not a good thing to forget. You could cause a big problem. But you know what the best part of this book is? Not what Little Critter forgot, but what he didn't forget. He didn't forget to spend time with mom and to tell her he loves her. Never forget that. You can forget a lot of stuff, but never forget that. I'm so glad Little Critter didn't forget it, and I hope Little Critter will start remembering some of the important things he has to do. We all need to work on that. We all need to work on remembering things. Sometimes Miss Dorothy forgets to do important things, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. And I know sometimes you forget to do things, but you can work on that. You can try to remember, especially the really important things, like telling mom and dad how much you love them. And tonight, something I don't want you to forget 
is that it's time for bed. So I need my little critters to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a good night's sleep. Don't forget to tell mom and dad that you love them. Very important. And don't forget tomorrow to obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. Don't forget, because I'm going to be right here waiting to read a book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.